Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea. And today we're gonna dive into the usage of a Kyusu. So Kyusu, as you might know, is the Japanese teapot with especially known the side handle for Japanese people. This is kind of the main utensil used for a tea ceremony or just a tea moment with the best friends. Side handle is always an integral part of this Kyusu type. This one here I bought when I was on my travel through Japan. So I uh, bought this black clay Kyusu. I must admit the black clay Kyusu is actually the one I do prefer the most because it smoothens out the tea a little bit on the taste side. But I don't want to go too much into the taste today. It's just to give you a small instruction how to use a Kyusu properly. Good. So just a small anecdote on the side because in the western part we often have the teapot which goes above or we have it behind it. This exists as well in Japan but mostly you will see the side handle. And the reason for the side handle is very simple because aesthetically when you have the handle behind or on top you need to move your arm quite a bit to just pour the tea. But if you have a side handle, you can actually just do like this. And you have nearly no body movement. So this is very, very beautiful. Also from an aesthetic side. But how do we use this beauty? When you often do, when you do a green tea, and this is something I don't do that much often, but it's quite, quite a good thing to do, is if you don't want to drop your temperature or that you do, the temperature of the tea water drops too much, preheat the cues. So this is number one. Preheating, very simple. You just take a small amount of water, you pour it in your kyusu and you just let take the clay a little bit of the temperature of the water and this then avoids that the water drop is too, too hard, too strong or you can just keep the same temperature you want it. So if you want to brew a green tea at 60 degree, 140 Fahrenheit, or you want to go up to 70, 155, this is actually the best way just to brew the water on the perfect temperature. You would like to have the tea preheat your kyusu and then you will brew your tea very close to this temperature and you will not have a drop. Myself, I not I don't do it very, very often because I like to brew my teas quite at a low temperature. So we'll start with 60 degrees, 140 Fahrenheit, and I don't mind if then I have a small temperature of around 5 degrees Celsius. This is absolutely fine for me. But this is also very personal, depending on you. If you want to keep really brew the tea at the same uh, temperature you are also preheated to water, then I suggest you to really go into and then just um, do the preheating like this. And then just pour the water out in a glass or in the sink, wherever you are. And then you have the preheated kyusu. Then next one is the tea. I often use five grams of tea. So this is now a Fukamushi style tea from the south of Kagoshima from the Asatsuyu cultivar, so early cultivar. And then What's nice about the, um, the Fukamushi is that you can only or you only brew it at a short amount of time. So 45 seconds is more than enough. So I really have a nice temperature of the clay now. And then I just close with the lid. And then I'm going to leave it, sit it there just for a short amount of time. Move this on the side. And then if I have two glasses, then I use these two. If you're just brewing the tea for yourself, then you can also just use one glass and then you have one pour, which is pretty simple. But as soon as you have several pours, so several glasses, which you use, if you do it for uh, your, your lover, your love, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or just a good friend, then you can use the two glasses. And what is nice and here, this is also a little bit a weakness of mine, but what you can actually do is that you don't clock the holes which are in the kyusu. So there is often a sifter. Sometimes it's built in, sometimes it's a metal sifter. This is something 
uh, depending on uh, on uh, the queue so this one is built in then you do very short so this is one way to do it and like this you don't clock the holes and what is good about it is actually that you get out all of the water this is very important because you don't want to steam the tea any further and you have a beautiful tea and then you can just go down up 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 voila and then you should have the last drop and you're fine and this is important that you really get out all of the water like this here you can see so you can here see the sifter and it is not clogged that's very very important good that's one way to do it and if you're alone so if you're drinking your tea on your own what's important is when you pour the tea so just gonna refill this you only need 20 seconds for the second brewing 10 is also enough in this case I use 15 or around 15 and what is important that you don't start to pour too slow so you got to get into an angle where the water can pour quite nice with this one it's pretty good done but some cues they're a little bit they're not so good done and you really have the water floating down also the other on the on the top part here where the water pours out so you really have to get the right angle quite quickly it's normally quite easy if you have a good quality but sometimes they're a little bit rounder and they don't have like this this kind of this angle of the cutting of the of the top part of the where the water pours out and that's why you need to do the angle quite quickly and then you have no kind of or you will not lose any tea of the kyusu and then that's a very simple way to do it kyusu is actually one of my good friends since i started my journey into the Japanese tea culture and I really like just to have my cup of tea in the morning very simple steps which you can do preheating then do your uh, and do your brewing if you have two glasses always jump from one glass to the other that's also very important that you just because that you just have a different or the same kind of strength of tea in the different glasses the reason is while the water is still in the kyusu you will still have a brewing going on in the kyusu and that's why you just have to change over just that both of the tea cups they have the same taste and number um, then the preheating very important and um, if you are doing this and you have a fukamushi style so if you want if you have a deep steamed a little bit of smaller leaves try to do this quick movement without shaking the leaves just a quick movement until the water is gone and then you can just use the rest up and then you're already fine so it's very easy to use it different kinds i showed you here not a too in-depth uh, video but just a basic video on how to use your QSU. and i hope you like this one here and if you ever have a question do not hesitate to ask me i'll be happy to answer them and if you ever want me to cover any topic please feel free to do so and leave me a comment good have a nice evening see you bye bye